Ah, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for coming to College of the Mission. Welcome. Uh, today's service, I'd like to have a live streaming a video. And uh, the other day, we have a service. However, uh, Microsoft, my, my microphone setting was no good, and there was no sound. Yeah, I'm really sorry. And this morning, uh, one of the uh, Buddhist in England uh, sent me contact, and then uh, she watched uh, my YouTube video. And so today she might watch from England. And also uh, one of my Dharma friends in North Carolina, uh, she is watching. So I really thank you very much for that you know, uh, viewers in the world. So although this is a very small island, but uh, now. Anything can possible because of the internet. Uh, you know, it's a kind of uh, network. A great network can make people united. One. So today, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, meditation because the other day I talked about meditation, but there was no sound. It just uh, I'd like to you know talk about again. And before talking about what is meditation, I'd like to talk about uh, what is understanding. Understand. What is understanding? Very philosophical. What is understanding? Because understanding in English and understanding in Japanese has a huge difference. We think uh, understand is very universal, but a very concept of understand in English is stand. stand. So, for example, if you want to know about Japan, one of the good ways is to go to Japan and to stand in Japan. That is uh, the one of the very concept of understand. And on the other hand, in Japanese, understand is called wakaru. And wakaru literally means to divide. So what is understanding in Japanese is to divide. So to divide like the word understand is understand. So this is uh, the Japanese, sense, Japanese uh, uh, concept of understand. So it's quite different. So by dividing the world into the smaller pieces, then we know more about the world. So the word meditation can be divided into some pieces. And meditation is actually now. So the verb meditate can be divided to two parts, medi and eight. Medi and eight. Eight is actually as a verb. And uh, what is made? That is uh, uh, recently I was so curious about what is made. You know, uh, maybe uh, talking about what is meditation, I realized that oh, I never thought of what is meditation. I always divide a word like compassion is com plus passion. And uh, uh, consider is calm, consider, and medi meditation. Oh, I never divide. And what is medi and what is a? And then I looked for the internet, and uh, there are few opinions that medi. One opinion says that medi is same word as medicine or remedy, medicine. So meditation, according to the theory, can be medicine for the mind, Med medicine the mind. So that is many. And another opinion was very interesting. And many is actually came from Mita. Mita. So this is actually English is Mita. And the meter is the same as a measure. So to measure something, infinity, to measure something, to think and to measure, to meter, 
What is the object? Is according to the uh, degree, many is made is uh, that is uh, meditation. And uh, I realize that this is very interesting because our Amida Buddha is Amida, Amida. And Amida can be divided into two pieces. A in Sanskrit means cannot. And Mida is actually same as meat, meter. So Amida means you cannot measure something that you cannot measure. That is, Amida is usually translated infinity to infinity. So infinity to meditate is what we call meditation. So everyday life, we do meditate actually. Meditation has various types. For example, to take breath in and out, simple action, we repeat. This is also meditation. And also, my way of uh, meditation is very good way is to go to the ocean and you stand and look face the ocean. This is also meditation. And by standing in front of the great nature, this is like breathtaking, breathtaking experience. And breathtaking means that uh, you forget yourself. You feel that uh, very tiny part and uh, nature is huge. And because we face what we see, the object is so huge, the percentage of myself is very tiny. So the more huge object, like looking at the sky, so many incredible, so many sky stars, right? And by looking so many stars, I feel nothing. And this nothing is very important. Because self is always uh, giving trouble, worry, regret, you know, all kind of mind trouble come from the self. And of course, it's sometimes a good, uh, good uh, experience, you know, pleasure too. However, they give me because self is always the source of trouble. So by looking the huge infinity, by looking the huge part of the object, then we can forget, easily forget ourselves. That is uh, another good type of meditation. But uh, by looking uh, at the uh, you know, sky or by looking ocean uh, at the shore, this is a, this doesn't last long. This doesn't. Last, this is a very good. Maybe one minute, okay, two minutes. But by standing ten minutes, thirty minutes, one hour, then we come back. The self come back, and we feel that boy. And this is that every day. So the meditation, the practice that we make it this non-self. The moment that we self forget ourselves, make it longer and longer and longer. So that is uh, uh, the practice, meaning of practice. And uh, interestingly, uh, we Japanese and the Chinese people use uh, Chinese characters, what we call kanji, Chinese characters. So Chinese characters are actually very uh, understandable. Very illustration, uh, illustration of easy. So I, I I cannot say all Chinese character can be divided into you know, but uh, most of the uh, Chinese characters can be divided into piece by piece. And if you know one piece and uh, and you piece you know another piece, you make combine then you know the more meaning. For example, uh, 
this kanji Chinese character is divided two pieces. One is this part, and another part is this part. So what is this is actually it came from the image of the sun. So this is the Chinese character of sun. And this shape is came from the moon, crescent moon. That shape of the moon becomes this character. So this kanji can be divided into sun and the moon. So this is a question that what is sun plus moon? This is like a quiz, but uh, uh. <laughs> so the kanji can be divided sun plus moon. And so the meaning is right, right. And also another example is this is a character for the gate. So it look like gate. So you cannot see. So this kanji is a gate. Then you can add another element, like so. Gate plus this kanji. And this character is actually ear, ear. So what is a gate plus ear? What is gate plus ear become? This is we call this or here, here. So to here is gate plus ear. Then it means yeah. So another example, gate plus. So this is uh, the square in Chinese is actually mouse. Because if you open the mouse, it will become this shape. So gate plus mouse becomes speak, ask. So that, that is about the Chinese character. And today, the meditation is called Nenbutsu. What we call Nenbutsu. And the name means to think, to contemplate, consider. So that is the meaning, name, to think, to con and think with concentration. Think with concentration, contemplate, contemplate. That is a name. And Buddha is means Buddha. So the word Nenbutsu, it's an equivalent of meditation. It literally means to contemplate Buddha. And Buddha is, our Buddha is infinity. So to contemplate infinity. That is the original meaning of Nenbutsu. So, what is name? As I said, 
if we can take apart piece by piece, then we know more about the, the kanji. So this name is very interesting. You can divide. Now and this kanji is mind, heart. So in English, heart and mind are two different things. But in Japanese, mind and heart are actually expressed in the same kanji. So this name is to think now with heart. Now, so this is uh, uh, to realize this moment is what we call sin, contemplate. Not in the past, not in the future, we are living in this moment. To realize this moment is what we call name, because the character name can be divided now and heart. So, uh, there is an animation movie, The Kung Fu Panda. And my favorite saying is, uh, yesterday is history, tomorrow is mystery, and today is a gift. That's why we call it present. So this indicates that uh, today, gift, present moment is a wonderful, wonderful gift. So we should realize this moment and just forget regret in the past, just forget worry in the future, live in this moment, realize this moment that we are living right now. So that is uh, the meaning of Nembutsu. So the kanji indicates now and now. So traditionally, Nembutsu was to contemplate of infinity. This is more mindful uh, that you cannot see. But uh, because contemplation of infinity is actually very difficult. Infinity, how do you imagine infinity? This you need more concentration and also imagination. Not only concentration, but we also need imagination. That is very difficult uh, action. That is a traditional name to a very difficult action. And so the easy way of Nembutsu is just call Buddha name. So instead of instead of think, we say by saying it, we can imagine. By saying it, we can think of the object. So that is uh, another type of uh, nembutsu meditation. So in our tradition, originally both to contemplate Buddha and also we do have a core Buddha name is also recognized as a meditation. However, traditionally, because everybody can call Buddha name, it's very easy. We consider it very easy. And contemplation is very difficult. So people like and think contemplation is a much higher practice, much more uh, professional practice. People prefer to the professional action. And we think Calling Buddha name is very inferior, in, inferior practice. It's very low that the people that every because everybody can do, uh, you know, Buddha name. That's a very low practice. But uh, our founder says that, uh, oh, that's not true. That's not true. It is actually everybody can call Buddha name because everybody can practice called Buddha name, that is actually superior, not inferior. Calling Buddha name is not inferior. Calling Buddha 
is actually superior because everybody can do. And by saying that, we can later see of Amida Buddha. So that is、uh, our founder. So since our founder, meditation means that、uh, whole Buddha name. That is、uh, Nam Amida. Nam Amida. So this is、uh, our. So I can say that、uh, meditation. There are many types of meditation, and you can choose in our daily life. That、uh, meditation is to have object, like、uh, to see the ocean, to see the mountain, or object. Object can be anything. Like、uh, watching TV, you can have a meditation because by concentration of the watching TV, you can also forget yourself. So that is also type. And this type is that、uh, call by calling Buddha name Namu Amida. Namu Amida. Then we forget to ask. So our tradition, the way to Namu Amida is、uh, two ways. One is、uh, uh, Namu Amida. Namu Amida. Namu Amida. And this is、uh, we call atama uchi, the hit,、uh, the head of the sun, na, a, da, nam, a, da, nam, a, da. And another way is we call in between, hit in between the sun, na, na, na. So we have two ways. Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida. So today we want to practice Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida, Nam Amida. So. Oh, by the way, this we call mokugyo, and mokugyo literally means udon fish, udon fish. So this is actually shape of fish because fish are always open. Yeah, fish are always open.、Uh, even it is sleeping, the eye open. So in like manner, we need to see the reality correctly with eyes open. With eyes open, and also the sound make us wake. <laughs> If we, you know,、uh, sleepy, oh. <laughs> oh, yes.、Yeah, so this、uh, moment that、uh, we just、uh, attentive to the sound, yeah. And this moment,、uh, just pay attention and no thought during this moment. So this is、uh, the beginning. Of meditation condition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So this、uh, practice uh, actually little by little, longer, longer. Then okay. And also one of the important nembutsu is、uh, this is、uh, the practice that、uh, Amida Buddha give us opportunity. Oh, please come to my lab. After you die, I have a very beautiful and wonderful world, and this is everybody world. This is like your head, and Amida Buddha wants people to come. Please come, and he said that to, if you think of me, I think of you. I take you to my lab. If you call my name, I take you to my lab. So that is、uh, Amida Buddha.、Dance. So by deciding that、uh, that is、uh, Amida Buddha actually give us the opportunity of practice. 
So we just deprive by depriving that Amida Buddha in this Amida Buddha is very happy. Yeah. So I want to do it though, because today is a uh, beginning. Three minutes, maybe. Three minutes. And then, uh, you know, three minutes in everyday life is very fast. You know, that's so quickly. But uh, we, our experience today, now we have three minutes. Then, what is time in life? So we want to experience three minutes. Then.
So, how was the three minutes? So, the other day, we did actually 10 minutes for the first time. And everybody feel kind of like that. Because soon, the beginning, very far. But soon, we get used to it. And because it's a very simple, we getting feel more old. Oh, there's something different here yeah? because it's simple. But uh, this by repeating again and again and again is actually very powerful. Mind. Uh, soon we forget. But actually, this is a practice. And if you get used to this boring repetition, you can endure anything. You can be patient anything. But this is because. So the mindfulness, the meditation, by practicing with longer and longer, then we can be more and more patient. So this is the practice of patience, because patience is the most important in the everyday life. Especially more and more people, and more and more cars, automobiles in the road, Especially on the other side of the road, I mean, how Kappa is kind of, you know, always traffic and have to be patient. It's nobody's fault. Just we need patience. So this is a very, very good practice. We hope to patience. So thank you very much. And today we just uh, do the post comment. So, in a sense, Oxtome was created, the service order created, because only Namu Amida, which is very simple and get a bit boring. So, we put the Namu Amida and the chanting together, combination together, then we can enjoy Nenko's more. So, this is a very good book of the service order. Remember to only practice and chanting together. So, starting from page 14, Hambujo. Thank you. 
questions I have done in the past are all derived from an inherent free angular and division. All of my color words and stories. I now depend them all.
The third paragraph of the coding and meditation master is a new to show you the light of transmitting the pure land of the three countries and all the great patriots by uh, realizing compassionate the founder, founding master of our temple, the restorer, and all the priests who serve this temple with a free practice will achieve perfect enlightenment. My prayers to my teachers and ministers, to my father and mother, to all temple members, donors, and all living beings with whom I have permanent connections. May all those who are living experience joy, prosperity, and continuity without being. May those who have died escape from suffering and present to be born into that world. We pray for the peace and stability of our temple and for complete affinity with the past. May we be completely free of hindrances and cultivate our practice for the Buddhist practice. Since the founding of this temple, with all the members, the daily and monthly memorial tablets, the recently deceased, those in the intermediate stage of existence, and in all the spirits, May we cultivate virtuous so that they may be enlightened. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Ariadna. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, we have refreshments. Yeah. Oh, yes, thank you for watching.
Oh, yes, oh, thank you. Please join. Uh, do you like sushi? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here. 
this isn't a thing where we say, trust us, you know? This is a thing where we say, this works, and we found this truth for ourselves. We want to show it to you. If it works for you, that's the truth for you. If it doesn't, you know. How it works for you is your truth, not it. So, feminism is a reality. I'm not sure. But like the Zen of an object is the action of the object in use. Like you can't say what any of this stuff is because words are inferior and as soon as we try to make the a thing is a thing. Right? Like it's all about the words and wordplay. A thing is a thing. And anything that you can think of but you can't point to is in a way an illusion. So if I say the future, that's kind of an illusion because we're stuck in the now. I can't point to the future, I can't point to Monday. It's a thing that I'm at it's a concept or on the calendar. And like the time going in a circle, that's a concept. It's not true. It's true. There's a beginning, there's an end. You see, the universe is a cycle. The day and the sun move to the cycle, but time moves in a straight line. But time is still a little bit of an illusion because time flies when you're having fun. Time, especially time, is dependent on the observer. Uh -huh. Why? Take away all of the things that hold your brain back, you find freedom. And in that freedom is the greatest joy of bliss. That is nirvana. Nirvana is not going to heaven. The idea of the pure land is kind of a, a philosophical idea that when we die, we go visit all the great bodhisattvas. And instead of playing parks like the Christian heaven, we talk about this reality that we've discovered in life. But that's the goal of what we're all doing here is trying to become the new Buddhist and understand the Buddhist reality. And that is what the Buddhist reality is. You gotta think like this. If it's cold and there's hot, if you're both temperatures, they're on the same scale. Okay, but they're opposites, and you got light and dark. They're colors, but they're on the same scale. Is and isn't are opposites, but they're on the same scale. And to our judgment, we say, oh, this is space, this is nothing. If God is everything, or whatever we consider the Godhood, the, the universe, the oneness, the self, the greater higher self. Okay, so if all of that self were to become visible right now, what could you see? No, you can see nothing. Your eyes would be God, and or Godness, or the oneness, the selfness. The air would be selfness, and everything that wasn't here, outer space, would be selfness. It would be all one, solid. That is the reality. But God, or whatever it is, to play a trick on itself, so it can have fun with life, for whatever reason, makes itself invisible, so we can't see. So I think, oh, he's a different person. But he's not. He's an aspect of the self that chose to make the choices he made, and just you're the same way. And you chose to make the choices you have. So when you see someone who's screwing up and you know, in another life, or this life, or, you know, it's, but the things that you don't see is what matters most in this way of thinking, this philosophy. It's the stuff you don't see, that's where it is. Where does the breath of life come from? Where does life come from? Consciousness. The things that can't be touched within us. We have hardness, but we also have this invisible aspect. So we perceive that our consciousness is in our head, because that's where our eyes are. But if your eyes were in your toes, you would think your consciousness was in your feet. You would be quite sure that you saw it within three feet. In the same way, an ant is quite sure that everything it sees is the only reality of a person who is colorblind. doesn't know he's colorblind until he compares reality with someone else. <laughs> What's crazy is I didn't understand any of this stuff until a week ago, and I was in, like, I, somebody explained some stuff to me, and I was explaining it, and it just all clicked. And now I understand everything. And it's the most amazing thing. It really is. When they talked about the, the Buddhas, and, and the joy of spreading that true knowledge to everyone. This isn't something where you have faith that something might happen to you. This is, I have experienced it, and here it is, brother, here's the truth. As much as I understand it, and if you understand it better, let's debate. You tell me what you think the nature of reality is. This is the cornerstone of Buddhism, is debate. It's not a we're right, you're wrong, or you're right, I mean, we're all one, and these are what we've observed. That's all it is. So do you follow uh, and he was one teacher who took a certain avenue of thought to, 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 to simplify it for people who live in it. But there are many, many different, many different debates about which path is better. Well, the, the, 
there's all vehicles. These things are Mahayana is a vehicle. What was the one before Mahayana? Yeah. Yeah, that was called the lesser vehicle because that was the, the vehicle of the aesthetic. A vehicle takes you where you need to go. And that's the role of the guru or a teacher is he knows which vehicle is right for his good. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because this is all dealing on this level of higher consciousness that you realize the world. And as long as you're thinking on the Monday, he is right now on two levels, and I am too. We can speak up here over all aspects of the self, and there is no reality. Or to make this meaning, we say this is how I feel. But he knows when I say this is how I feel, I'm saying this is how this body feels, and this body is different from this body. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One million. If <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Buddha yes. believed that he was right to the exclusion of the other Buddhists, did he believe he was, you know, if you take a look at it, did he believe all prophets before him were right? He was one view of it, and all the other Buddhists had a different view, and they were appropriate for them. So, Buddha is one of the ones that are doing that. I'm the one that is the one who wants to.